all wove around her mother. Squirrel Paw's already planning her warrior name. Squirrel Paw fluffed out her pelt. I've been planning my warrior name for moons. She looked earnestly at Firestar. You won't name me Squirrel Tail, will you? One step at a time, Firestar purred, his eyes shining with pride. First, you must finish your apprentice training. That'll be easy, Squirrel Paw's tail shivered with excitement. Leaf Paw frowned. It'll be easy for you. You don't have to remember the name of every herb in the forest. But I have to remember every prey scent and paw print, Squirrel Paw pointed out. Sandstorm blinked at them fondly. I know you'll both make us proud. What if Leaf Paw gets her medicine cat name before I get my warrior name? Squirrel Paw fretted. That would be embarrassing. It won't matter, Firestar assured her. You each have your own path to tread. Sandstorm stretched her muzzle forward and touched her nose to Squirrel Paws and then to Leaf Paws. As long as you have each other, you'll both stand tall. Squirrel Paw's fur prickled with happiness. She looked at her sister. Leaf Paw and I will always stick together. She meant it with every hair on her pelt. Leaf Paw twined her tail around Squirrel Paws. And we'll always help each other, she vowed. Nothing will ever drive us apart. Chapter One Greenleaf was giving way to leaf fall, and shriveled leaves were already drifting along the forest trails. Ahead, a stream babbled, tumbling its way toward the lake, and beyond it, the moor rose against a blue afternoon sky. Squirrel flight padded from beneath the trees and tasted the air. She could smell heather, dusty and browning. Eagle Wing, Plumstone, and Bumble Stripe fanned out beside her. It's quiet, Eagle Wing murmured. Plumstone gazed at the heather stretching ahead. It's perfect hunting weather. Eagle Wing stared at the trees as though she might see through them. We'd best be on our guard. Squirrel Flight nodded, knowing that the young warrior was probably thinking of Amber Moon, her former mentor who had been attacked by an owl a moon before, on a day very much like this. She had died. It's good to remember, Squirrel Flight thought, that even the clearest days hold their dangers. Squirrel Flight narrowed her eyes, straining to make out a dark shape near the top of the moor. She was leading the border patrol and had promised to report back on their neighbors. It had been nearly three moons since the clans had redrawn their borders to make room for Sky Clan, and the new scent lines had remained unchallenged. Bramble Star was happy, the new peace suited him, but he'd confided in her that he was worried that it was too good to be true. The dark shape dipped beneath the heather, another darted after it. Is that a Wind Clan patrol? Squirrel Flight wondered. Bumblestripe followed her gaze. I think so. They're heading away. Plumstone narrowed her eyes. Squirrel Flight shifted her paws. We'd better check the border to make sure it hasn't been crossed. Eagle Wing padded forward and sniffed the edge of the stream. Plumstone headed along the bank. Squirrel Flight flicked her tail toward the stretch of prickly gorse beyond. The border's been moved, she reminded them. Yeah, but the stream is where the forest ends, Eagle Wing blinked at her. We have to get used to our new borders, too. Squirrel Flight glanced at the ginger she-cat, surprised that a young warrior should already be so rooted in clan traditions. Did her sister Plumstone feel the same way? Have you ever marked the new border? Thornclaw said there was no point, Plumstone told her. He says ThunderClan cats don't hunt on moorland. We hunt in the forest. Squirrel Flight widened her eyes, surprised. A strong clan should adapt to change, not ignore it. Bramblestar would have to speak to his senior warriors. Has the peace only held because the clans haven't been trying to enforce our new borders? She patted.